Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Surplus Nut no, bringing the second part of this little series of videos that I'll be making on surplus rifle and taking care of them. Okay, and um, we left off from the first part in the condition that sometimes you might get these guns, and basically, you know, you have to, if you like, you have to um, basically put a lot of work into them but it's very rewarding what you get out of them um, so right now I'm gonna start off just by going through them real quick so you guys could see them and then we're gonna go into the uh, how to kind of like maintain these guns like I said in the first part of the video um, these are guns that you can just buy them and throw them in your safe and keep them just thrown in there you know um, some of these guns are over 60 years old which is unbelievable. I mean, everybody that sees my collection, they see these rifles. I mean, they do look like military guns, you know, from the past, but they can't imagine that their original birthday was maybe like, you know, 40, 50, 60, even 60 years ago. So, um, that's basically, um, you know, what they are. So, for that, you have to take them out of your safe once in a while okay and um, take them out go through the gun okay and you know make sure I don't I don't really clean the bore okay because I mean if I take them to the range and I come back what I do is I clean them real good I clean the barrel you know the bore really good really really good and I put either croil or um, Hopi's 9 lubricating oil inside like a real real I get a patch and I wet it really good and then I run it through and I just basically leave them really really wet the barrel so especially with that Hopi's 9 man I'm gonna show it to you guys that thing is the bomb I mean I wouldn't use nothing else for protection purposes and I leave the bore really wet you know with the um, with the oil and then what I do is basically I take them out probably like about I will say about either twice a month or um, you know once a month and I like you guys see it here I pick the times that my wife probably goes off with the kids and stuff because you know it's like a big deal you know what I'm saying I gotta find a, a place where I can lay all these things out and, and go one by one and it's, it's a little bit time consuming but like everything um, you know it takes time so you know I lay them out like this and then basically what I what I do is I just kind of like take care of the metal with a little bit of oil just to leave them really looped up and then I take care of the wood you know either with um, pledge or Febreze whatever you know my wife might have at the moment around that will nourish and protect the wood that's what I do and then once I do one of these at a time then I go ahead and I put it back in the safe okay and that's something that you have to do I know it might be a little bit of a pain you know to take all these rifles out and go one by one and and doing this you know and it's time consuming but it's rewarding I mean I enjoy it I enjoy, enjoy it uh, just laying them on the table here and you know looking at them you know um, I just like these guns a lot and also I enjoy the part of you know uh, maintaining them like you know cleaning the uh, metal on each and every one of them and also the uh, the wood just something that I enjoy a lot and um, and once they're all taken care of and lubed up when then they get put away this is my Tula 9130 I like how it's got the uh, the little brass end caps on the top of the um, uh, stock there that's something also that once in a while you want to get brasso or uh, anything that will polish it brasso does a great job obviously because it's brass and you know I keep those things really really bright like if they were gold so you know and just keep up with my guns you know um, this rifle I purchased it from JG sales and I got a pretty good deal on it 
um, it was in pretty decent shape so I I mean I made it look even nicer but um, and it wasn't all beat up or anything so that's basically what you gotta do guys and now uh, on this third video that I'm gonna make after this one we're gonna jump right into like what to do I'm not gonna do it to all of them obviously because I have to you know I will take a whole lot of videos but I'm gonna pick a, a pick a few rifles here where I can um, basically just go through it and show you guys what I do to each and every one of these you know just by doing it on once you guys can get the idea on what to do um, if you don't do this you will run into the into a uh, situation where you're um, I don't care if you have the little Remington square thing that you the humidifier whatever they, they, they have for the saves and stuff listen those things you know saves are not sealed tight okay vacuum sealed that when you close the door even though that thing works 24 hours a day I don't even know how to really you know haven't gotten into it how they really specifically work but if you just throw your guns in your safe and just suspect that they're gonna you know stay in good shape eventually you're gonna start building humidity depending on how it is um, I mean I keep my AC I'm an AC mechanic so I keep my AC in tip-top shape and my house usually runs about anywhere from 70 degrees to 72 degrees you know pretty cold especially at night I drop it down to like 69 because we like to sleep with the comforters and you know really nice and comfortable so my house the humidity is like you know not a problem um, it's very well dehumidified but anyways um, you know, you want to keep these things looped up um, just like not to build any rust on the barrels and stuff, remember. And also, if you do a really good rebluing job, um, you know, if you have to retouch it, whatever. Like, again, a lot of these things, man, they're not that bad when you get them. You know, it's got to be really, really in bad shape, the bluing, the barrel, all that, to have to completely strip it down and reblue it. But if that's the case, you have to do it and or if you have to just do a good retouching job also the bluing on the metal the purpose of the bluing on the metal is also to protect the the metal itself from rust and pitting and all that so that right there if you re-blue it and retouch it pretty nice that will take care of that issue and then the only thing will be just to um you know basically keep them you know keep a good amount of a film of oil on your all your metal parts and if you get a good oil like the Hopi's 9 that should last a long time sometimes I tell you if I do it like once a month I take the guns out or I just pick one and take it out and I just run my finger through the metal and if I see that it's lubricated enough well I might go a month and a half you know it's all how your house what condition the humidity where you keeping your guns some people don't have you know a, a nice safe and they have to keep them in um in gun cases like you know like in their attic or underneath their beds or in a closet so all that has to do with what you have going on you know what i mean so you just gotta play by sight and like i'm saying pull one of them out and rub your finger you know or look at it and you can tell whether it needs to be lubricated sometimes if I've gone up to like two months I pull one out and you can tell where the oil has dried up and it's still protecting it but it's not it doesn't have a good layered on the metal so what you do then is like you go ahead and you know what I'm doing right now um so all right guys on the third part to this we're gonna get right into the um uh maintenance of it check you guys out Mr. Surplus Nut. 